Today we're talking with Yvonne Gametti. And Yvonne, tell me about which country you're from and what program you're in. I'm from Togo. It's in West Africa. Yes. And uh, I'm studying Master in Divinity. Master's in Divinity, the yes. MDiv program. Yes. So can you share with us a little bit of uh, God's leading in your life? What, what is a particular testimony that you have to give? Okay, um, I think that I have a long list of testimonies, yes. but I will just give the, the, the one that concerns IAS and how it has helped me so far. Um, when I was doing my undergrad in theology, I was in Liberia, another country in West Africa, mm -hmm. and um, I was planning to do my master's, but I didn't know where to go. So I have a friend of my father's, and he um, decided that to help me, and he recommended the team scholarship for me. I, I didn't want that first because I never heard of IS, and I was a little bit scared and skeptical, and I wanted to go to Andrews. Yes. But he, he, he told me that it was a good fit for me, and I could try it out, so I said, okay. I filled the form in 2016. But um, I only had a confirmation of coming to IS in April 2018 from TEAM. And TEAM is a, a scholarship that's given by an organization called Time for Equality and Adventist Ministry, yes, correct? Yes, okay. So they, um, I wanted to do the master's in, in religion with an emphasis in Old Testament. Mm -hmm. And they told me that they wanted me to do master's in divinity which is more pastoral. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see my feet there, so I said, no, I wouldn't want to do that. But uh, with other advice and counsels, I decided to change the program. And I remember as I was in that line of uncertainty, I was in communication with Mrs. Sumendab Joy. Mm -hmm. uh, she is the admission director. Correct. So she told me that, she wrote me and she told me that I should just keep praying that whatever God's will is for me, he will reveal it. Mm -hmm. And receiving that message from someone who didn't know me actually spoke to me in a way that maybe th this school, this university, if there are people like that who could care about me enough to give me a, a message that I will need for my moment, mm -hmm. then um, it will be worth getting into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. I decided to come to IS, yes. and it has been um, a beautiful journey so far. Wonderful. Now, um, tell me about the MDiv a little bit more, what the effect of that program has been for you since you initially wanted to go into the Master of Arts in Religion and you changed because your, your sponsorship was more interested in that one for you. Do you, um, do you regret not taking the Master of Arts in Religion, which is, uh, yeah. Tell me about that. I don't regret um, not taking it, the Masters of Arts in, in, in Religion, because at the initial stage, MD was, is supposed to be a program for pastors, those who want to get into active ministry. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen myself as a pastor because I just, I don't think I have the patience and the, the heart for it. So I didn't want to do that. But when I came to IAS and I started studying uh, the Master in Divinity, the plan was to do it for one year and then I will move back to MAR. Mm -hmm. But the things I have learned in the classes have helped me to realize that this was the right place for me. I realized that I was a practical person. I realized that um, I understood better Jesus, mm -hmm. salvation, what he has to do with me and with other people. It has helped me to want to grow and to share that message with other people. I don't know what is taught in the MAR program, but where I am right now and the things that I have learned, they have kind of expanded me. Uh -huh. That um, I don't regret not going to MAR program and I love what is being done in the MDF program. Wonderful. Yeah. So tell me, are you wanting to be a pastor now that you're in the MDiv, or what is your dream? No, I, I still don't think I can be a pastor, but I think that I can continue with um, a PhD mm -hmm. later and be a professor. Right now my heart is inclined to the historical theological department, mm -hmm. so maybe I might 
um, take a look at that. But I want to be a Bible teacher. I want to have seminars, irrespective of me being a professor or so. I want to be able to proclaim um, the sacrifice that Jesus has done for us and how it affects our lives and how we can look at him in a different light. Mm. That it's not, we don't have to obey him because we are forced to, but mm -hmm. because he loves us so much that he has been able to do his this sacrifice for us. You're giving me goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Academia with um, salvation right at the middle of it. That's yes. wonderful. That's yes. wonderful. Now, I know a little bit of the answer to this because I've been observing what you do and how you involve yourself since uh, in, in the last number of months. But um, tell us a little bit about how IAS has prepared you or developed you for leadership. What experiences have you had, um, insights, you know, along that line? Because our mission talks about developing leaders. Yes, uh, I've had a lot of experiences. I think from the beginning of my journey, coming here, I think has been a journey of patience. Mm. So I have learned to be more patient. Uh, I have also learned, I'm, um, I normally have the, f the fear of failure. Mm. So that used to hinder me to try things out because I, I was like, uh, maybe I wouldn't be good at it. So I didn't want to do it. But my professors have affirmed me in IS. They have made me think that, um, I was smart enough and I could do this and other friends have also done that. So I have, I have been writing, I have been leading in front of uh, other people because I've had people who have been able to affirm me and encourage me in, in those uh, areas. So IAS has really been a support in my life. Mm -hmm. I also think that for me, IAS is not the end of of, of knowledge. Mm -hmm. I think IAS has opened my horizons to how much I can learn and how much I can do. So when I leave IAS, I wouldn't just, it wouldn't be the end of education for me. Yes. So I think that wherever I will be in a position of leadership, I want to be able to encourage, affirm whoever is around me. And I also want them to understand that um, we can always learn. Yes. And uh, it's good to try different things because you might, too, you, might do, you might be good at them. Yeah. Always keep your horizons broad. And yes. I think IS does that just by the fact of what a diverse group of people we have and yes. the opportunities that are provided. Yes. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you go on to that PhD. I know you have a heart for academia, <laughs> Yvonne. Thank and you. I know God is leading in your life. Thank you so much for uh, talking to us today about your experience. Thank you for having me.